This month's big idea is self-control. And self-control is choosing to do what you should do, not what you want to do. So we've already looked at one wise saying about self-control, and I thought we could look at another one. Wise sayings are sometimes called proverbs. And hello, who are you? Hear ye, hear ye, I am Victoria Fastidious III, the world's greatest one-woman Shakespearean actor, reenactor, and part-time bookkeeper at Metro West Realty. Thank you. Um, Victoria, I love the enthusiasm, but this isn't a story to reenact. It's a saying or a quote. What sayest thou? Right, a saying, like... A proverb. <laughs> Forsooth, <laughs> tis a proverb. A proverb is merely an amateur verb, but I do indeed have the ability to reenact proverbs. Well, a proverb or a proverb is an insight, words of wisdom, a quote. Tis your lucky day. I seriously doubt that. I know a quote. To the play. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much, you will throw up. Okay, I guess I have to admit that that was, well, perfect, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now I will perform for you my first original work inspired by this verse. Original work? Thusly. Wait, I thought you only reenacted stories. It's time to branch out. I shall now reenact stories, phrases, words, sounds. Now we shall have more. More! More! I don't know. This is my first original work entitled, Don't Overdo It or You'll Spew It. Lovely. Isn't it? You shall read the part of the narrator out loud using your mouth and voice to the best of your abilities, whilst I bring the rest of the story to life before the eyes of our eager onlookers. Let's just get started. Couldn't agree more. To the play, thusly. Once upon a time, there was a young man known as No. Read, thusly. A young man known as Victoria walks. Oh dear, it has been such a long trek I must trek through the woods to find suitable lodgings. Eventually, he came upon a small abandoned hut. Oh, look, a place where I may find some shelter, food, play a video game or two. I shall go inside. Much to Victoria Locks's delight, once inside the hut, he discovered three bowls of porridge each bowl bigger than the other. Oh, joyest of joys! I have found food for my aching belly. I shall fill it thusly. Oh, but wait. I shan't be gluttonous or greedy. I shall have only a small portion. And so, Victoria Locks proceeded to only eat a small amount. My, this is tasty. After he was finished. Wait, 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 wait. What? Just, just one second. Just one second. Um, Victoria, there's, there's more script. Yep. Mm, mm. That was delicious. I shall require more, thusly. But Victoria, the script says that he proceeded to eat a small amount. Victoria, but there's more. Look, I am so sorry, everyone. She actually has a script here, but I'm not sure what. Victoria, you are making such a mess. Victoria, step away from me, foul creature. It's mine. Oh, mine. No, no, Victoria. Get, get, Victoria, you're kind of going crazy. Victoria, give me mine, a, mine. No, Victoria. My precious. No, Victoria, stop. <laughs> Was that me? Well, it wasn't me. Oh dear. That I, mm. 
I believe the bard is trying to, um... Oh, that is all for the play today! I must exuant thusly! Wow. Well, I don't know if she planned on it or not, but what Victoria just did was a great example of this quote. If you find honey, eat just enough, and if you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Like Victoria just showed us, good things can quickly become bad things. When she got so obsessed with eating that porridge that she wasn't able to finish her play. The bathroom is thus, this way thusly. Oh. Self-control is learning to say stop. For example, if you're at home and you have a big bag of candy, instead of eating the whole thing, self-control says, I'm only gonna eat a few pieces. Or if you like to play video games, self-control limits your screen time and instead chooses to do your homework or help your parents around the house or play with your siblings. That's self-control. And I hope you practice self-control this month. I better go check on Victoria. Excuse me.